top of the block tonight. New charges today against Anna Nicole Smith's boyfriend and lawyer. Did Howard K. Stern keep her or help keep her stocked with the dozens of meds that killed her? He and two of Anna Nicole's doctors are accused of basically enabling her to death. They've all pleaded not guilty. The newest allegation against Stern is that he scored opiates for Anna Nicole using aliases. Court docs say 40 Four medications were prescribed for her under a number of names, including Stern's. Forty-four medications! Was this addict getting whatever she wanted because she was a celebrity and a potent sex symbol? Anna Nicole died in 2007, just months after her son Daniel died. Stern says Daniel's death started her on a very dark road. From the day that, that Daniel died, Anna honestly was never the same. I mean, I would say that physically she she died last week, but in a lot of ways emotionally she died when Daniel died. Were the people closest to Anna more concerned with feeding her addiction than getting her real help? Could they even help her? She was an adult, after all. Let me welcome back my fantastic panel. Also joining us, Mike Walters, news manager at TMZ. Mike, what is the very latest? Well, you said it, Jane. Uh, Howard was charged with five more felonies. He uh, was in court today. He pled not guilty. But I think you got to get into what they are to explain what happened here. And that is four counts of the fraudulent prescriptions. In these documents, it goes into really good detail about how he used his name, uh, his name spelled S-T-E-A, and it's not has no A in it, to score drugs. Uh, and then taking it to Anna Nicole in Bahamas, here in Studio City, and at all of her houses. That's what that's about. But the one that sticks in my head is the fifth one, and that is administering, prescribing, or dispensing narcotics or controlled substance to an addict. And the interesting thing is, remember we talked about it yesterday, there's a really gruesome thing inside the documents that talks about taking medication, crushing it up, heating it up into liquid, and in injecting it into Anna Nicole, him and Arasovic. Stern denies all the accusations and says Anna Nicole was his world. That world included off-the-wall, apparent, seeming, drug-induced scenes like this. As if this footage is worth money. Now, I think uh, that is pretty powerful evidence that at least Anna Nicole was uh, high on something, at least at the time. Now, if you ever saw her TV show, she also appears high at that time. Addiction is rampant in America. You know that. And one of the things that's important is to know that there are ways to intervene and get people into treatment. But if you're a pusher, your motivation is to keep making money off the person getting the drug. If you're the enabler, you've got your own motivations for crushing up drugs and injecting it into somebody's veins. Wait, for God's sake, we here. need Steve to address Cardian. this. Is it possible that Howard K. Stern was your classic enabler codependent who thought that he was doing what Anna Nicole wanted. Absolutely, he believed that he was doing what, what she wanted. But the, the bottom of the, 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 the fact of the matter is that he enabled, he facilitated, and he conspired to ultimately lead to her death through criminal negligence. So, yes. Yeah, uh, this I is a wild case. I also think he case. had yeah. some motivation of his own here, Jane. I don't think enablers are just doing what they think the other person wants. Most enablers continue to enable because they're getting something to Or too. they're in denial. Addiction yes. is at the heart of the Anna Nicole That's tragedy. Right. The scenario is using false names uh, and getting prescriptions for thousands of pills without medical necessity and making them available to Anna Nicole Smith, who obviously was addicted. And all of that violates the law of California. Thousands of pills. That was the California Attorney General who was overseeing the investigation into Anna Nicole Smith's death. The document cites some Really, and I mean really racy photos of Anna Nicole with her psychiatrist and neighbor, Dr. Christine Arasevich. Now, these pictures apparently, allegedly, I have not seen them, show the two naked and embracing in a bathtub two months before 
Anna died. The documents also allege Dr. Sandeep Kapoor had some kind of sexual contact with Anna. There he is. TMZ has this photo of her uh, with a shirtless Dr. Kapoor. The doctor's attorney, however, told issues, no way, Jose, my client is openly gay. There's several photos and they are very racy. If you read the full documents, it goes into very specific detail, as in uh, fully nude on a bed, uh, crotch area, uh, open legs, stuff like that is in these documents. So they are very racy. And I have to go back to the fact that they're doctors. Or again, this is an inappropriate relationship, whether they're playing and having fun right. or Sandeep Kapoor is openly gay and he's nestling her neck in a nightclub. And you saw the photo. Um, that was actually a gay pi pride uh, parade that they were at at the end of the night. But that doesn't matter. He's her doctor. I think we're going to have to leave it with that yeah. brilliant line. As they say, first do no harm. Thank you, fabulous panel. Remember, click on CNN.com forward slash Jane.